Amanda Campbell says she grew up unaware of the rich and fulfilling future a technology job holds. Once she decided to take that career path, Amanda often found herself the only girl in the room. Well, now she's a successful web developer and she's encouraging young girls to explore the possibilities of STEM-based careers. Holly Menino has her story. So grateful for that opportunity. Yeah. Amanda Campbell yeah. says she wasn't exposed to the possibilities of a computer science career until college. I had no exposure to technology in high school whatsoever. The careers she was encouraged to pursue weren't STEM based. I was actually encouraged to do like more girly types of jobs. While seeking a business degree, Amanda took a few required technology classes and found she was often the only woman in the room. I was super outnumbered. I was the only girl in my whole program. Despite being an amazing male-dominated field, Amanda ended up loving computer science. She's now a web applications developer for Exactware, based out of Lehigh. It's always problem solving. It's always a challenge. It's, it's just something that you can always grow in. That's the message Amanda is sharing with these girls attending Girls Code, a two-week summer program at Canyon's Technical Education Center. We noticed here at CTEC that we were having a big gender disparity issue. I had one girl my first year teaching. Cody Henriksen teaches computer science at CTEC. He started the Girls Code program two years ago. The girls actually started on day one learning about how to, um, Android works and doing some actual writing Java code, making their own apps in Android. These girls learn computer science and software development and will build their own apps. It's so much fun, like, oh, I gotta sit at a computer screen all day. Yeah, and you're gonna make apps, and then people can buy them, and then you get money. Ninth grader Kyla Daniels made an app that helps improve balance. She says she wants a career in technology. Knowing that you change something and it can help someone in some way. That excitement and enthusiasm for computer science is exactly what Amanda and Cody want to hear. Then it says, for Two News, I'm Holly Menino. We want more STEM-inspired stories so you can share. Email us at stemstories at KUTV2.com or at KUTV.com, stemstories at KUTV.com.